love you, Kira. I commit my life to you, and only you. Forever. It pains me, but this entire scenario is a ruse. There's no martial law and no special signal emitter. Barris is my true master. General Rapton has taken the field personally. This is the opportunity we've been waiting for. We need you back at headquarters immediately. Orders from above. Above the Minister of Intelligence. Sith orders, sir. You cured an incurable disease. Saved a life. Even better, I saved someone famous. Noticed how much that time in the cooler cramped my style. Got me rusty. I thought all you did all day was lift weights and pick fights. Ain't so bad when there's some chump in the yard to shank or a guard station to rough up. Solitary's another story. I'm just saying, all this running around busting heads is wetting my appetite, and I'm itching to do some real damage. Never did get my hands on that stinking hut that tried to have me bumped off. Been thinking. I'm overdue. What do you expect from me? I say I was looking for help. All you need to know is, once I find the dirty backstabber, I'm paying him a visit. Trouble? Remember how Cordan thought things would be heating up? Listen. I've got a mission. Thought you might want in on it. Plan Ordo has been hired to kill a senator who's hiding out under major Jedi protection. It'll be a serious engagement. He's gone to ground in a heavily fortified area. Worth a lot of credits, too. If you're interested, meet us at the Bayless estate on Alderaan. Corridan out. Planning on taking off again? They're my brothers. I need to be there. Better get going. Don't want to miss the fight. Thanks. What did Mako have to say? I think we'll have things under control while you're gone. I did not. Meet your finger, la. Outstanding news, sir. We've got a positive fix on the Dead Eyes location. Garza's people just finished decrypting the coordinates we sent them. The data points to an Imperial outpost on Hoth. Another labor camp, most likely. First Tatooine, now Hoth. The Imperials must really have it out for the Dead Eyes. Picking off a few dozen Imperial officers will do that. Once we get those men out of there, we can put all this craziness behind us. I just hope we're not too late. Barracks. Hal. You two still breathing? Uh, more or less. Didn't expect to see you here, sir. Nor I. Care to tell me what you two are doing here? What are you doing here? My job. Don't you get it? This operation was never about rescuing POWs. We've been after one thing, Dusk Nine. Impossible. That place is just a myth. Is it? We'll never know now. Thanks to you two. I must be missing something. What's Dusk Nine? It's nothing. Just a spook story the Imperials concocted to scare us. Next to the Emperor's location, Dusk Nine is the Empire's best kept secret. Hundreds of Black Ops projects are born there. It's also a prison, according to the rumors. The things that supposedly go on there, too horrible to be real. We're more interested in the intel hoarded there. We seeded thousands of bugged soldiers into the Imperial penal system, hoping for a bite. Why so many soldiers? To improve our odds, naturally. The more soldiers we see, the better our chances of someone winding up at Dusk Nine. We were using the wrong bait. The brass at Dusk Nine weren't interested in common soldiers. But how could they resist an SIS agent? So, I bugged myself, staged a bogus rescue operation, and let myself be captured. I was awaiting transfer when you two geniuses showed up. You can still go on with your mission? You don't think the Imperials will be just a teensy bit suspicious that you rescued the Dead Eyes yet conveniently left me behind? Now, I have no choice but to abort my mission and try again somewhere else. Sir, 
We can deal with Zane later. Let's just find the rest of the squad and get out of here. Jorgen, sir, they're dead. The cold, they didn't make it. What? Trace? Copland? They're gone? But I thought... Zane. Take it easy, Jorgen. Stay out of this, sir. You kill them. You promised them a rescue that never came, and now they're dead for it. How many other soldiers have died for you? Huh? A hundred? A thousand? You can't kill me, Jorgen. Too many witnesses. As far as we're concerned, sir, the Imperials killed him. What? Wait, you can't just... Major, do something! It's all yours, Jorgen. No! That's for Coplin and Trace. Good men. Brave men. You've had your revenge, now let's get going. Right. You sure you two won't tell anyone about this? Absolutely, sir. Let's get you two back to your squad. They'll want to know you're okay. I'll call for an evac. They're off, sir. Mission accomplished. Who knows how many more soldiers Zane would have sent to their deaths. You ended all that. Honestly, I'd rather not talk about it right now, sir. Let's just get out of here. Sir, about what happened earlier. Zane got what was coming to him. But I shouldn't have been the one pulling the trigger. Killing an unarmed man. A Republic agent, no less. That goes against everything I've been raised to do. Everything I've been trained to do. You did what had to be done. If killing Zane saves even a few Republic soldiers, I'll accept that burden. And that doesn't make it right. Honestly, it's not even Zane's death that's bothering me. It's... It's everything. The Dead Eyes, the Operation, and the Republic's part in all this. You heard Zane. Thousands of soldiers, all being fed to the Empire to find a place that may not even exist. It isn't right. The Republic sees us as expendable. We're stats to the brass. Numbers to throw at the Empire for the Republic's convenience. I'd have been proud to die for the Republic before, but... After this... The actions of one man don't reflect the actions of the Republic as a whole. Zane may have just been one man, but there are plenty of others like him calling the shots for us. Won't ever trust Command again, but I'll keep fighting. Because the Republic is more than the bureaucrats running it. It's the billions of people who can't fend for themselves, who are counting on us to defend them. I'll fight for them. And for you, sir. I'm only gonna say this once, so listen up. Being a soldier isn't just what I do, it's, it's who I am. And I'm good at it. But when it comes to women, relationships, that's... That's where things get messy for me. I can think of a few reasons why that might be... Very funny. Point is... I like you. A lot. I've never met a woman who got me the way you seem to. You've also never met a woman who could put up with you like I do. There's that too. I've given up a lot for the Republic. And I'll keep on giving as long as I can. But for all the rules and regulations telling me otherwise, you're the one thing I'll never give up. I've never heard you talk so openly before. Yeah, yeah, just, just don't blab about it. All right. I think that's enough heartfelt sentiment for one day. Let's get back out there and bag us some Imperials. This is where I get off, runt. Been waiting forever to hear that. Huh, <laughs> funny. Found me that slimy hut I was talking about. He's been getting fat and happy all these years after crossing me. Time he gets what's coming to him. When you're finished with this, it better not come back to haunt us. When I'm finished, ain't gonna be much left. Try not getting killed. Gonna want something to do when I get back. Still alive. Seems that way. We're not all so lucky. Did Corridan make it through? Took a lightsaber strike. Glanced off his big head. Didn't care to find out firsthand. Never let them get close. How'd you manage that? Kept the fire on the Senator. Didn't leave him any choice. Can't count on a good distraction every time I cross a Jedi. Better find some best car if I'm making a habit of it. Mom, babe! Did you find Shreeli? Oh, 
，阿瓦多朋友意思，你莫懂，谁个都无比无比。我的朋友阿文，可把汤迪卡拿给土地。People should think twice about pushing you around now, right? Kava took a amishka. Kava no tas ma watila. I don't suppose you know these people. Failure and disobedience are one and the same. My lord, I tried. In the Sith tongue, both translate as treason. That is the wisdom of the ancients. Put Watcher 3 down. The Cypher Agent. You defeated the traitor Jadis and the fools in the SIS. My masters acknowledge your service. But you serve intelligence no longer. By order of the Dark Council, Operations Division is dissolved. Personnel will be reassigned to wartime units or to deserving Sith Lords. Don't be stupid. Without intelligence, our enemies gain the advantage. You are valuable. Yet your life is still worth less than a drop of Sith blood. The war does not go well, whatever the official word. The Ministry of War must have resources, and intelligence fails to do its part. We hear rumors of corruption and treason. Agents wasted chasing conspiracies. A brain-dead keeper. Time to butcher the beast for its meat. You mentioned that deserving Sith Lords will take over. Intelligence has given its dregs to Lord Barris and Lord Sangus before. They will make better use of your finest. Ship secure, my lord. We found the alien outside a cantina. I was on a break. What's the deal? Intelligence may overlook her past, but she is an anarchist and an enemy of the Empire. She will be interrogated and judged. I will kill you. You get that? I will kill you! Kaleo's service has been exemplary, and we've put far worse on the payroll. The decision was not mine. Unless you intend to slaughter the entire Citadel, do not test me. One day you'll regret that answer. They can't hold you. You're too good for that. Wait for an opportunity. These people are dead, and when I'm through with them, you and me are gonna finish this! I swear! The rest of your team can remain intact. As for you, by special request of the Minister of Intelligence, you are being transferred to my brigade on the Corellian front lines. Together, we will drown the Republic in blood. I'm so sorry, sir. You will know your assignments. Get moving. Begin message. Ugh. I warned you what would happen, but you couldn't stay away from Voss. You had to make waves, kill our special Gormak friend. Now the boats are in, and you see the consequences of drawing their attention. The gift is for you. I can't protect you anymore. Who'd have thought the Star Cabal was so sentimental? Maybe if intelligence had nurtured our agents more, we'd still be around. We'll talk to our contacts in the diplomatic service. We'll talk to the Nest. We'll talk to House Thol. We'll find support. Frankly, it's hard to imagine intelligence being gone. We may have lost operations, but we know more about the Star Cabal than anyone. They're scared. They acknowledge our existence. Believe me, I want them exterminated too, but let's not overstate our position. I thought you were the optimistic one. Then we really need to spend more time together. He shows his bitterness. It will become a tactical vulnerability. What I'd like to know is, What's your plan now? Someone wants us on the front lines of Corellia, likely as a trap. I intend to find out why and follow the answer to our enemy. Onward then, into the maw of the dragon. You have my full support. Let's hope the Force favors the bold. How are things with you? Excellent, sir. 
I just heard Lord Ulius is conducting another opera, and I'm looking forward to the hollow playback. You know, it's been a while since we discussed it, but I believe you were going to take me out to dinner. Is this the best time for an outing? You don't have to dress up or spring for the best wine. I just want your company a while, somewhere we can be people. Come on. And that is the only time I ever went barefoot in the garden. I do like you, sir. I don't want to lose you on some nameless satellite somewhere. Very few operatives survive until retirement. Get used to the idea. Always comforting. I'm sorry. It really was a wonderful evening, but, well... We both have a lot of work to do. Let's get back to it. Of course, sir. Best not to linger on these things. Agent, you can bear witness. Dr. Lokin has agreed to hike Cass Falls with us if we visit the Cass City Opera. Vector's musical tastes are, frankly, unsophisticated. I'm only trying to help. Then we have a deal. Well, that can wait. Right now, there's something the three of us must discuss. I think you've got our attention. As you are both aware, I've been investigating Project Protean, an off-the-books division of the Imperial Science Bureau. The people who want you dead. Precisely. Their research is focused on human-alien genetic splicing. I've studied their files, along with your own physiology, Master Vector, and I've come to a conclusion. Project Protean arranged your meeting with the Killix so they could study the joining. Vector was working for the Diplomatic Service, not the Science Bureau. Protean is well-funded, perfectly able to trade favors with Vector's old superiors. That part doesn't surprise us. For what it's worth, I don't believe it was personal. They wanted a test subject, and you were on Alderaan already. If this is real, what does it mean for Vector and the rest of us? They have files on the Killix. Ways to hurt joiners or to heal them. They may have altered Vector or simply observed him. I consider it our obligation to find Project Protean and end them. For Vector's sake as well as mine. If there are answers, we'll find them there. Indeed. If you'll excuse us, we'd like to commune with the Hive. You don't want my advice, but I'll give it anyway. Vector knows who he is. Give him time to be sure of it. Agent, we've been speaking to the Nests in preparation for the Killick Imperial Summit. They're so much in tune with their biology. The Colossaloc are warriors as large as houses, and they're convinced the Empire should be crushed. But the Saras are weavers and shapers, and they're eager to trade. I think you were used to kill it quirks by now. From our nest on Alderaan, yes. But the colony is so much greater. We should return to our preparations. We'll talk later. I have fully processed the error I experienced during my upgrade. I require outside power and storage capacity. A cocoon for my metamorphosis, so that I may evolve. If I help you evolve... Will you help me in return? I promise nothing. But I will consider your requests. Although neither my body nor your vessel is sufficient to my needs, you have encountered an adequate facility. Give me full access to your ship and security codes, and I will upload my consciousness into the Imperial Archives. You leave your body behind, upgrade your programming, and then? Then I return to my body with improved mind and functions. I will begin preparations. The next time we speak, I will be ready to upload. You're back. Ain't like a bunch of hut flunkies was gonna give me trouble. Would have been back sooner, but the slug and I had a lot of catching up to do. I assume this grudge of yours is finished? Only thing left for that hut is getting hosed off the walls. This is the worst day of my life. Some idiot bounty hunter killed... Nemro the Hut before the Journal of Xenomedicine could examine him. They can't verify my treatment worked because Nemro's a big messy puddle of goo. There's no proof I saved him. I know how hard you worked to develop that cure. The average Hut lifespan is a thousand years. Nemro was only 600. Stupid bounty hunter. My only hope is someone else coming down with the disease so I can cure it again. I'm not holding my breath. The disease is rare. It could be years, decades before I get another shot at it. Another living being is dead, and all you can think about is how it inconveniences you. I thought you were better than this. I thought you were a healer. Was I wrong? Nimro wasn't a nice person, but he didn't deserve vaporizing. 
I'll send something respectful to his memorial service. You know what? The Journal of Xenomedicine can take a flying leap into a black hole. You know, I'm starting my own blasted journal. I've had enough medical adventures these past few years to fill a library. And I'm telling people all about them. You don't need other people's approval to tell your story. No, but it helps. Publishing a Hollownet journal won't be easy. I'm gonna need recorders, added droids, and a good S-thread broadcaster. That's some serious scratch. I have to start charging for my services. You understand. Why don't we rob an Imperial Bank for the money? This is why I keep you around. You say what I'm thinking. It has been enlightening to spend so much time among you and your Jedi. For 300 years I have spoken to no one but Sith, and they do not change. They are the same on Korriban now as in my childhood. The same tricks, the same fights, the same groveling and mind control. Was that almost a compliment? I am only surprised that I have learned the most of the Force from a Jedi. Revan taught me to be effective when I became the Emperor's Wrath. And now I have learned as much from you. You have opened my eyes as well. And here I thought you weren't listening. I am Captain Evelyn, Commanding Officer of the Tyrant. You are Darth Tormund's bounty hunter? Darth Tormund instructed me to rendezvous with a Tyrant here. Good, pay attention, we don't have much time. Republic Special Forces slipped on board during our troop withdrawal. They've completely overrun the command decks. It won't be long before we lose the bridge. If you act quickly, we might be able to turn things around. Darth Tormund can't handle this himself. He went to deal with the attackers personally, but his soldiers are sealed off from the bulk of the fighting. The board has initiated a complete lockdown, trapping our defenders and the subdecks. I need you to undo their tampering. With their overrides disabled, we can unseal the lock decks from the bridge, so Darth Tormund and his soldiers can retake control. Give me the where and how. I'm transmitting the location of the ship's network junctions. Restore the systems and we can handle the rest. I've opened the docking bays and disabled our weapons. You can make a safe landing if you hurry. The window of opportunity is... Now or never. If we're going to land, we better do it before the boarders get the turbo lasers back online. We're in for a rough landing. Business as usual, then? <sighs> Figures I'd have a big lunch. You must be the bounty hunter Captain Evelyn contacted. Thanks for the rescue. Once they killed the captain, we thought the fight was as good as done. I've restored control of the bridge. We need a few minutes to override the lockdown, but we're finished if we have to hold off another attack. Will you assist in defending the bridge? Anyone stepping through that door gets blasted back out. Get those lower decks unsealed, ASAP. My, my lord, it's a relief to see you unscathed. Where is Captain Evelyn? I... he... The, the captain's dead, sir, my lord. And yet you avoided his fate. Yes, I, I mean, no. We were sur... Well, I'm not sleeping tonight. I have you to thank for a ship. You wanted to discuss Corellia. Have the ship operational by the time we are finished. I am mobilizing my entire division to Corellia. Their rebellion will be crushed. Corellia will fall, but military victory will not be enough. I do not want the Republic merely defeated. They must submit. And a corpse can't grovel. I get it. Who do you want? There is a massive resistance supporting the Republic's defense of Corellia. You will secure the rebel leaders. I will make them kneel. When the Rebellion bows before Corellia's rightful leaders, our trap will be set. What's the Rebellion got to do with Jun Siros and the Supreme Chancellor? If Corellia is conquered, the Republic will send troops. If Corellia secedes, the Republic must rely on diplomacy. A compact will be signed publicly. Corellia's governor will demand that the Supreme Chancellor ratify the treaty and withdraw Republic forces. The Supreme Chancellor will have to acknowledge that the Corellians have chosen Imperial rule. But not before June Seros convinces him that his Jedi can turn the tide. I've only seen Seros operate through proxies. He was undefeated on every front he led during the last war. 
He will not sit idle while Karelia falls. I have sent my forces ahead, under command of General Krau. Meet with him and proceed according to plan. When the tyrant is hyperspace capable, I will join you. I'm fielding reports from across Imperial forces. Among the men, there's universal relief that Moff Broisk is no more. It doesn't matter what others think. He needed to die. I agree completely. I feel no conflict over my actions. Broisk was a blight on the Empire. You were guiding me to a new paradigm, my lord. One a bit more... improvisational. I believe it will only make me a better officer. The jury's out. I'll let you know what I think someday. I await your judgment. Got a secure message from General Racton. You'll want to hear this. My lord, I received Lieutenant Pierce's con. I've reinstated Black Ops and excused the team from their prior assignments. If all the preparations have been made, you have Imperial clearance for your assault on the Bastion. Had a feeling this was it. Hard to believe we're finally making our move. Play the rest. I want Racton's full briefing. Due to the massive Republic presence at the Bastion, we've made special arrangements to get Pierce's team within range. You'll infiltrate a shuttle of Republic reinforcements headed for the area. We've already procured the necessary disguises. Surprise is essential. Therefore, I must ask that you remain behind, my lord. Your presence would expose our plans. I'm sure there's a Republic uniform in my size. They'll have Jedi along. No uniform would hide your power. You made this assault possible, my lord. The credit is yours should Pierce and his team succeed. The Empire is trusting Black Ops with our victory. I hope it is not misplaced. General Racton out. The team has their instructions. Have to leave now if I'm going to make the rendezvous. When the Bastion falls, the Republic will know our power. So will the Empire. Just how I like it. Mind holding my hand while I do something stupid? Remember that data pad we got from Carteri about a million years ago? I cracked it. I got a holo frequency from Isaac, Mr. Project 32 himself. I can't do this without you. That's what I'm here for, stopping angry looks from strangers. Perfect. Just sort of stand there and look imposing. Pretty much like you always do. What's this? Okay, before we get started, let's set something straight. My name is Mako. M-A-K-O. Got it? Call me Coral, and so help me, I will find a way to punch you through the holonet. Mako? Well, that's a name I never thought I'd hear again. We want answers. Start talking. Believe well, me, I would love to talk to Mako. I got plenty of questions myself. Unfortunately for both of us, I don't have much time for conversation at the moment. Funny how you just happened to be on your way out. You did manage to get me at a bad time. My team has pinpointed Coral's location. Finding her is my priority. Hey, go. A word of warning. This isn't the life you want. Whatever happens, stay away from Coral. Why? What do you want with her? What did she do? She's killed most of the people involved in Project 32. I can only assume she'll try to kill you, too. She's gotten almost everyone else. You haven't given us a whole lot of reason to believe what you say. Believe what you like. I'm afraid I'm still out of time. Mako, I'll contact you if my team's taking Coral into custody. We have a lot to talk about. Isaac, out. I'm intercepting all his outgoing transmissions. Looks like, yes, I have the coordinates he's sending out. You're doing real well at this waiting to hear back from Isaac stuff so far. Did you hear me say, sure, Isaac, I'll just sit here twiddling my thumbs until you call back. I've downloaded the coordinates to the NAV computer. Let's go pay my sister a friendly visit. Hey, sis. Long time no see, huh? Mako? What are you doing here? How did you find me? Met some of our sisters. It was real sweet. Heartwarming, you might say. How oh, about that? I should have warned you. Probably slipped your mind that you're a quadruplet or whatever. Easy mistake. It's a lot to take in. I didn't want to overwhelm you. Project 32 is trying to frame me, Mako. The others were in on it. Help me slice his computer. If I can erase my records, I can just disappear. Nobody else will get hurt. Please. I've got two words for you, Coral. Bantha Dung. 
You used me. You wanted Isaac dead. You wanted the other girls dead. Quit pretending to be the victim. You want to get anything else out of her, be quick about it. Isaac's probably on his way. Well, Coral, you have anything else you want to say before I watch Isaac cart your sorry behind out of here? So I set you up. So what? You don't matter. Neither do the others. None of you are even real people. I'm real. You think I wanted to be part of a set? Would you want that? I'm not like the rest of you. I'm unique. You're not even a person. I'm not scared of you. Doesn't matter. Nothing you do matters. Even if I die here, you won't be real. You're just a cheap copy, Mako. She hammers a lot for someone who's just been totally beaten, doesn't she? What do you want to do with her? SIS can have her. She can rot for all I care. Mako? Is that you? How did... Nah, that's a stupid question. We'll take call from here. I guess we should thank you. Are you alright? I don't know what you guys are gonna do to her, but I have a hunch she deserves it. The stuff she said about being a copy... What do you think that was supposed to mean? You're letting her get to you? I don't know. I feel pretty surreal right now. We're moving out. Make out, we'll have to talk later. Let's get out of here, okay? I want to be as far away from this place as possible. She found her! She found her! Mother was sold to a hut on Tatooine years ago. She works in a small shop there. Tiva found her, and she's headed to Tatooine already. We need to go meet her as soon as we can. Of course. We'll wrap up what we're doing and make our way to Tatooine. You're the best. Oh, and Tiva sent back some of the credits you spent getting her free. What she could scrape up. Okay, as soon as we can. Tatooine. I wonder what Mother will think of me now. After all this time, to miss her by days. Who is responsible for this woman's death? She doesn't look that old. What killed her? They still work, believe me. Umpa hupa, jikilia umpasa do biska. Atoga wata kiko uba kili wata buki donko. You have laid her out here and cleaned her up. Now what? Chobut i kafstuan pile jihulo kuta. No. Here are some credits. Tell Weddles, man, I've paid for your time. Go to town and arrange the funeral. What are you waiting for? Get going, slave. Che Womaktoma. Ya power kolka torundi. Kuna wawanda dunko. That was a lovely service. Still, I can't come to terms with it. What? The fact that our mother was worked to death by a fat hut who's somewhere laughing about it right now? You'll feel better once the hut lies dead at your feet. Chobut i kafstuan ile jihulo kuta. Stuka sun kanji tavuta ya. I don't know, Tiva. You want to go just shoot this hut in the face? Sometimes the only way to erase an injustice is to erase the person who committed it. If you think it's the right thing to do. Of course it's the right thing to do. Come on. Don't worry. We won't be long. My moth is going to be worried. I'll see you two later. Better times. Let's just go. Please. No talking.
keep seeing that hut's face. And the blood. And the bodies on the floor. And Tiva's eyes. I thought I could just let it go. And I can't help blaming you. I know it was hard, but some things need to be done. Bloody things. I really hope I never understand the way you see the galaxy. Anyway, whatever. Let's just keep some space between us for a while, okay? Gates open, security's down, and the CO is dead. The Bastion belongs to the Empire. Welcome to Black Ops Victory, my lord. Long odds, big prize, no survivors. Black Ops training has its merits. I'll see that you're all rewarded. Look forward to that. The Bastion was no routine assault. Hit a few snags. Tenido's weapons lost power. Couple of Laurent's men died. Arlos tripped a system hacking in. Took a bit of damage myself. Going to take some time to heal. Let you know when I'm up for a full debrief. I have landed on Corellia. The ledge is near. Roth, you are there to protect Darth Thauron from Barriss's threats. Our efforts to locate his secret headquarters are ongoing. Another digit of the hand will tap the Roth. Meanwhile, we are tracking three assassins arriving on secret landing fields. It will be difficult to stop them all. Leave that to me. Transmitting the coordinates for all three landing strips. Received, my lord. These killers are but the first. There will be more. Varon actively defies Barris. If he dies, Barris will be named the voice of the Emperor. Protect Darth Vauron at all costs, and aid in his attempts to undermine our enemy. Goodbye. My lord, I'm detecting a forced transmission. I assume you still recognize me. Consider yourself fortunate that I am reaching out like this. My old master, you have some nerve showing your face. I believe you have the market on nerve cornered, my friend. I'm here to tell you that you are being deceived. The organization you work for is not the Emperor's hand. You're the deceiver, Barris. I don't blame you for doubting me, and I will not apologize for my actions. I am the voice of the Emperor, and there is a reason for all we do. In the end, what you think does not matter. So believe what you will, but your handlers have you in over your head, sticking your wet nose in Darth business. Soon I'll be sticking my lightsaber in a Darth. Your anger has blinded you. Walk away now, and perhaps our previous animosities can be swept aside. The nerve. He's gonna forgive you. He can do what he wants. I'll never let go of my anger. No more talk. Barris's assassins must be stopped. The pleasure of your arrival was expected, my lord. Welcome to Corellia. I am Lord Ferris, here to make a request on behalf of my master. Darth Decimus of the Dark Council has taken interest in your actions and desires your assistance in the battle for Corellia. I don't help any Dark Council member who's a friend of Darth Barris. Barris is no friend. My master sought you for a reason. Our invasion of Corellia was executed to perfection. But the ensuing occupation has met... difficulties. Darth Decimus believes you can help. If you're interested, seek out his servant, Darth Charnas. He will set you on the path of conquering Corellia. Who is Darth Charnas? I am the apprentice and voice of Darth Charnas. I speak in his name and I would bargain for your services. If your master needs me, he can come to me himself. My master prefers to remain in the shadows, but do not doubt his power, nor his ability to reward success. The Imperial Authority on Incorporation Island. For now, he is the closest you'll get to Darth Decimus. Darth Charnas's ship, the Tears of Taris, is on Corellia now. A private shuttle outside the spaceport will take you there. Coronet City, the jewel of Corellia. 
home to the finest trading and ship manufacturing in Republic space. Soon this will all belong to the Empire, and the rest of the galaxy will follow. Where are my manners? I am Darth Charnas, agent of the Dark Council. My master, Darth Decimus, requested your assistance. He says only the most powerful Sith can help us win Corellia. I will show this planet the Force's true might. Pity you weren't here to set an example during our initial assault. The invasion was magnificent. Our occupation flawless. Imperial forces fill Corellia's high-speed rocket trams. We began to cover Coronet City. Then rebellion erupted. Unruly Corellians knocked out the rocket trams. Now our soldiers are stranded. Airdrop your men. Send in shuttles. Anything to keep troops on the streets. Alternate methods risk being shot down. Plus, they're unpredictable. I'm afraid our occupation's crippled without the high-speed rails. The guilty party is Corellian Engineering Corporation. The oldest ship manufacturer in Republic history. CEC exploited our one weakness. They turned our iron cannons on all outgoing trams, freezing our invasion, trapping us on the doorstep of the Empire's greatest battle. Destroy all guns firing on the rocket trams. Problem solved. We've tried, but their emplacements are heavily shielded and must be shut down from inside CEC. There's only one way to breach their walls. The Hullcracker. A compact bomb developed by Zerka Corellia's deviant scientist to punch holes through capital ships. It will get us inside CEC. Then we disable their iron cannons, resume rocket tram traffic and conquer Corellia. Unfortunately, Zerkas joined the rebellion, and they refused to hand over their hullcracker. Zerka will cooperate with the Empire, or be destroyed. The hullcrackers under constant guard. Destroyed Zerka's assault camps, and they'll abandon the weapon to reinforce their headquarters. Once you rout the camps, find our commander Jastel in Zerka territory, then we'll liberate that hullcracker. <laughs>